Okay, I just came back from the uh, co-op shopping, right? Because I want to make some, well, some breakfast, right? Because I'm house it. It's a really good kitchen. I like good kitchens. I go crazy on good kitchens. Little known fact, I can really, I can actually really cook. <laughs> It's just that I'm always particular, right? If I have a good kitchen, I'm off. I'm gone, right? So this is a good situation for me. Oh, got some dessert. I'm not really doing a lot of sweets. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I got some uh, chocolate-covered uh, cashews, dark chocolate-covered cashews and dark raisins and some pecan mix that I munch after my um, night meal. I don't know why I do that. I guess I get a head of sugar. But I have no idea, right? And I'm only, I only eat twice, uh, two meals a day, so uh, it's like 10.25 right now. And uh, at 11 o'clock is when I usually break fast, if you want to put it that way. I'm I drink water all morning up to that. And then uh, my next meal is usually after 7. Anyway, uh, and I don't snack during the day. Not, no snacking. Has something to do with some diabetes and stuff like that. But this is, okay. You know, you have foodies, right? And then you have people who just can't help it. I, you know, food suckers, whatever it is. I've never seen this before. This is a, somebody's kitchen sweet potato cake. <laughs> I had to do it. I like sweet potatoes. And, you know, it's not pumpkin cake. It's sweet. It's not even a pie. It's a cake. I got to try it. But what, what, what can I say? I, can, I just have to. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Probably tonight after the thing. No, they're going to do it after this meal here. No, I won't. I don't know. Put it in the refrigerator. Oh, I got some um, baby portobello mushrooms. This is for breakfast. This one's for breakfast. Mushrooms. Oh, I already took, uh, there was some eggs in the refrigerator here. And so I took them out. So I put them out here because, uh, you know, they're in the refrigerator. And, uh, you know, well, you're not supposed to cook eggs straight from the cold into the thing. Well, you realize that. What else do I got in here? Oh, I got the... Uh, I'm also an avocado addict. Mexican avocados, one I eat now because it seems like it's right. The other one I wait, you know, whatever it is. Uh, what else happened here? Oh, bread. I'm into sprout bread. I should have got Ezekiel bread, but uh, I, I, places like this, this was on sale too. Well, less than whatever it usually costs. Um, cause this is an expensive place, a co-op, but uh, if you pay some something like Things like two hundred dollars, you can be for for your lifetime. You uh, get the discount, but I'm not here long enough. Or whatever. So I got some bread. Cause I like bread, you know. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about my figure. I was with somebody. This, I was telling you know, I'm only eating twice a day, whatever. Yeah, but you still have a belly. I didn't. Well, I, I said, yeah. I'm going like people think. I'm not trying to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I never, the whole weight thing, I, I, my thing is like, you know, I'm not worried about weight, I'm worried about physique, right? And at this particular point, so I'll show you, anyway, this week's point, you know, I have what, I guess you'd call it, let me try to show you from the side here, I guess I, you'd call it a, you know, just a little gut there, whatever it is, sure I can go down, but I'm not worried about it, in fact, I like it, it's like, call it a dad's body, and since I'm out of the game, <laughs> I'm not trying to, uh, I remember when I was younger, I guess in my 30s, 40s, whatever it is, you know, because I was, I've always been very physical, whatever it is, right? And I was taking copper weight and stuff like that. And, you know, what I noticed, because I had my muscles, you can, you, I have muscles, little, I have pictures of it, maybe I'll put it up. But it was interesting because maybe, basically, people back then, even women as well as men, they would touch you. But, you know, the women, you can say they was testing your muscles. Very interesting. Women are slick, let me tell you that. Anyway, so that's that. What else do I got in here? Uh... Oh, oh, let me tell you this. This light is, sorry about that. Um, cucumber, organic cucumber. Oh, brother, what you gonna do? There was, um, what it was, oh, oh. The late great peace and blessings upon her eternal soul. My friend, Sophia Henson Holmes, so she was in the hospital because she passed of cancer a long, long time ago. Um, and she was telling me that a, a, a friend of hers, um, was was uh, the doctor somebody somehow she got wind of this thing of her friend and it, the, the thing was you take one cucumber a day and it it's, does something to your blood pressure it's very very healthy it's nothing but water really i won't take the whole cucumber but what i will do with this though maybe a third of it um 
because I, 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 I shopped a little way a while ago. Where is I got um my current favorite sheep's milk yogurt. So maybe every second day, every third day, I have some yogurt, right? So this time I'm gonna cut a little bit of this, you know, into the into my portion of yogurt. It's not gonna be a lot. Portion of yogurt. And uh I'm trying to find some fruit. There must be some fruit around. Um, maybe. Usually you put it with an apple, but I'm not really crazy on that. Uh and then what I got, because I fried the eggs or whatever. Yeah, somebody eat this morning. What else I'm having? That the oh spinach. I'm do spinach in the morning too. Baby spinach. So I'm gonna use baby spinach. That's gonna be my breakfast. Like that, you know, the uh, the eggs, the um I also got oh y'all gonna people gonna go st stupid with me with this, right? But every not around anybody, because I can't do it at my sister's place because my, my brother, um you know, her husband, my brother is a, a Israel Hebrewite, you know, so a Hebrew Israelite, sorry. Uh, you know, the purple people, uh, like my sister would say. And, you know, they don't do pork, you know, bacon like that. I'm not really a, a big meat eater, right? But when I'm places like New York or something like that, or, <clears throat> well, I don't really eat uh, pork, right? But I saw this, or, Applegate Organics, I'm not doing a commercial, but uh, uncured Sunday bacon. This is how they get me, you know? So I'm going to have a little bit of bacon, too. But <laughs> I'm going like, Sunday bacon? I'm, it's Saturday. I'm going like, well... It obviously, it's talking to me. And there's a lot of other. Okay, never mind. I actually, I actually do beef bacon, but I can't find beef bacon. It must be someplace. I got, I got to find some beef, beef bacon if I do it. And last but not least, I got some uh, pure pomegranate, not from concentrated juice. Let me see what they say here. Uh, ingredients: pomegranate juice. <laughs> So there it is. But I don't know if this is pure pomegranate juice. I don't know. Here's, I first learned about pomegranate juice uh, in Cape Town. Now they had the, there's this thing, the, not Salt River Market, whatever the, whatever the market is down there on, on Lower Main Road, you know, Salt River, by Salt River Circle. I was there when it first started. That was a really story because the guards, you know, it's like, it's like shishi, you know. When it first started, nobody knew what it was, but I was in, I lived in the neighborhood. So I went there. And I'm dressed the way I usually dress. And they had some guards at the, at, you know, you know, security, South Side of security. And so I'm walking, you know, walking through the thing. And this, you know, this black guy says, tries to call me. I kept on walking. I did my shopping. I came back out. And I started saying, you was trying to call me. What did you call me for? And he said, Papa, I started mumbling. I said, oh, you thought, I said, who's your supervisor? Now, there's two, there was two black guys and one black guy there, and the supervisor was a colored person, which is typical South Africa. And the colored person came over, and I said, look, Papa, and I just reamed them out <laughs> because I was, I was like, I was the only black person, I guess, looked like me walking through there. This is early on. Now, you know, it's got a lot of, you know, you got the, the new BEE or the BEE children, and they got money, so they go there and stuff like that. But, what the hey? Anyway, I learned I learned about pomegranate juice from 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 uh, uh, from that. I forget what they call it now. Anyway, it's, it's on, on, usually on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. It's all all evolved now. They got the DJs. They got this big thing. Da, da, da. And uh, they had real pomegranate juice. And the lady told me she said, "Look, when you drink this, right, you don't drink it like, <laughs> like juice. You know, you don't take a a, a a big glass. You know, you have to take a." Small glass like this. It's water. I've been drinking water. And then what you do is you only take maybe a third or half a glass. I think this is so I think this is sort of they say juice, but the pomegranate juice they had, you can tell. It was like you taste it and you really don't want to drink like a lot. So I'll drink this much pomegranate juice. And then, you know, every day, once a day, whatever it is. But you're not supposed to drink a lot of pomegranate juice for whatever reason. And pomegranates are really good for you. I mean, you know, Afghanistan they they had the, um, what do you call that, the uh, heroin or whatever, you know, poppies or whatever have you. Well, they also they also grow pomegranates there, right? and that's excellent for you, you know. If they could change over the, I guess that, you know, addiction wouldn't, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so look, um, mm, I just wanted to give you some things, of oil, and I will use real butter. My thing, I use real butter. Um, 
I don't like no whatever. Anyway, so that's it. You'll have a wonderful day. Eat well. Eat healthy. Try to eat with as, <laughs> as little uh, um, pollutants <laughs> as possible. Huh? I don't care about that gluten thing, but you know, a lot of people have the gluten problem. But you understand what I'm saying. I being me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.